हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स यू वन स्टॉप फॉर लर्निंग ऑल द मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स विच हेल्प यू इन क्रैकिंग द क्वांट एग्जाम्स इन द फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट एंड डेवलपिंग टेन टाइम्स फास्टर स्पीड ऑफ कैलकुलेशन सो वट डू वी हैव इन दिस वीडियो एन अमेजिंग वीडियो इन विच यू विल लर्न अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्किल एंड दैट स्किल इज फाइंडिंग यूनिट डिजिट ऑफ बिग एक्सप्रेशन and this is going to be the easiest trick which you find on the internet so watch the entire video you have something very very useful to learn and if you are not click the subscribe button till now please do it and along with that you need to click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications of the future uploads on this amazing mathematics channel so let's get going and see what expressions we have and what is the nature of the question and what are the tricks involved in cracking these questions so the first question which i am going to take up is a big big expression it is 2893 as the base and 751 as the power multiplied by another such expression 1924 as the base with a 100 817 as the power and that's not all we are multiplying this by 58 so we need to find the unit digit when we solve this expression obviously friends nobody can solve this right you can't even expand power 3 of 2893 leave about 751 so there has to be a trick and the trick is the first thing you need to understand is the entire number in the base doesn't matter so what you have to do is to consider only the unit digit of the base that is 3 in this case the unit digit then the exponent 751 will be divided by 4 and 4 is a default number so when you divide 751 by 4 748 is divisible by 4 right 748 so the remainder is going to be 3 i am concerned about this remainder and i will only write the power as this remainder now come to the second part here we have the unit digit as 4 so i will just write 4 and now look at this exponent it is 817 so whenever for the base 4 you have an odd exponent just write 1 as the exponent and you have 58 so you can just write 8 here the unit base 3 cube happens to be 27 that ends in 7 and this ends in 4 and this ends in 8 so 7 fours are 28 that ends in 8 and again a number ending in 8 so your answer for the question will be 8 times 8 64 that ends in 4 the solution is the unit digit of this big calculation is going to be 4 likewise we can have so many expressions you know these are all previous year questions which i am taking up and you will realize that they are not not at all difficult okay let's take this 7916 was the base in one of the examination this was asked and we have 3546 as the exponent and we are multiplying it by 4417 that is the base with 863 as the exponent and finally we have multiplied by 9363 a big big calculation there and we want to find the unit digit of this calculation now here we have 6 as the unit digit and whenever you have 6 as the unit digit of the base the power doesn't matter because any power of 6 will always end in 6 itself so just write 1 and here we have 7 now for 7 we have a different rule just like we had the rule for 3 divisibility by 4 right so 863 now if i divide 863 by 4 800 800 is divisible by 4 60 is also divisible by 4 so i will have a 3 as the remainder so i will write 3 as the exponent and then this ends in 3 6 power 1 ends in 6 Seven power three. Seven power three is three forty-three. If you don't know, then seven into seven forty-nine. 
n is in 9, 9 into 7 is 63, n is in 3. So you don't have to cube it, okay? And finally, this also ends in 3. Now 6 3s are 18, n is in 8, and another 3, and so your answer will be 8 3s are 24, n is in 4. So the unit digit of this expression is 4. Not difficult, right? No calculation is difficult, friends. It's here in the mind. If you know some basic rules, this is not going to trouble you anymore. So try these methods on some more big expressions and you will realize that, that this is indeed the easiest trick to find the unit digit of any such large calculation. Okay. So let me know in the comments whether this benefited you or not and all the best for your practice.